Welcome back guys. Today we are going to talk about Razormon and ORS. The difference and what they have in common. So this is the subject of Razormon. And if you see, this is the subject of Razormon. It is written Razormon. And you can even see the composition from there. And this is ORS. Oral Rehydration Solution. You can also see the name and you see the composition from there. So, this razor must stand for rehydration solution for malnutrition. And then what do they have in common? All of them have sodium, as potassium, as glucose, as citrate. Then, what are the difference between Razormol and ORIS? ORIS has more sodium, has less glucose and potassium. Meanwhile, Razormol, Razormol has more potassium, has more glucose, and has less citrate. Then, the component, the, the electrolyte, which is not in ORS, but it is Razormol, is magnesium, zinc, and copper. So, what are the real composition, the amount of glucose, sodium, and then potassium, which is there in uh, ORS and Razormol? So let's see. This is my thing which I've made for you. Uh, glucose in razor mold. Glucose in razor mold is 120. Meanwhile, in ORS is 75. Then potassium is 40 in razor mold, and then Potassium in ORS is only 20. Sodium in ORS is 20, it is 75 and then sodium in Razormol is only 45. Then citrate in Razormol is 7, where citrate in ORS is 10. So those are the different main different between Razormol and ORS. So what you are supposed to know that the ORS you give to normal babies and normal people with diarrhea and dehydration, those ones. But in malnutrition, you should know that you only give Razormol, and if you give more sodium. Which means you'll make the fluid to overaccumulate on this baby. That's why you see it is as less sodium. That's the main reason why we give razor more. And razor more also have zinc. And you know, if you're giving ORS, you have to also give zinc. Plus the other feeds of the kids, which are on ITC, like... Uh, F 7500 they also have zinc which help them also to reduce in diarrhea but if you're giving ORS you have to also give with zinc but razor more there's no need to give zinc you continue with your feed and you rehydrate the baby so ORS it is given 10 mils per kilogram body weight Meanwhile, razor mold, depending on the conditions of the, the level of dehydration of the patient, because fluid is not allowed in malnutrition, so you need only razor mold to give to the baby. So it ranges from 15 up to 40. Other people may decide to give 30 loose motion less especially those one who are having edema and then those one which is greater than two years they give 50 no matter the age no matter the weight that one there 
Now, if you're using the weight, you'll have to monitor the weight, which means you have to first get the target weight. And using the target weight, you have two options. One, if the baby has already been dilating from home, that one you need to calculate in the ratio of 3% to 5. Those the minimum is 3% and then the maximum is 5%. Those are the target weight. And then if the baby starts dilating from the hospital, the target weight will be the prediral weight. So if the baby needs that weight, which means you have to stop the aggression with razor and you continue with the feeds. Meanwhile, in a uh, normal baby, if you are dead, giving ORS, so long as the baby has no sign of dehydration now and the baby has stopped, then you can also stop giving ORS. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.